Hi guys, uh, welcome to the desk. I'm Dan Laidman. Uh, we're back. And by the way, this, uh, the band-aid is not a flex. I think it's just permanently fused to my arm. Anyway, here's Puncher. Here are your news stories. Human parents feel for a mama bear trying to corral her cubs while human single dads really relate to another bear. Three students were cited in the theft of a rare tree in Wisconsin asking the question, would they go to jail? An ad shows a GOP candidate's stunning transformation. I mean, he joined the government's transformation of losing 236 pounds of dead weight. The Schitt's Creek Motel is up for sale, so if you have a lot of money and want to live in a motel, why? Nike sues the maker of Lil Nas X's Satan Shoes, not because of the name, it's just because they only work on Old Town Roads. Not even the tune. Whatever. A study says online haters test high for psychopathy. This study was done by some kid named Maurice. It's not an old person named guys, I swear. The Daily Beast wrote, stream the movie that should have won Amy Adams her Oscar. Wow, you can stream every Amy Adams movie? An accused Capitol rioter was arrested in a t-shirt reading he was there with the former president's photo and insurrection date on it. So let me get this right. They thought the riot was a fish concert. The company producing Johnson & Johnson vaccines had a history of violations, said any kid who hates bath time, let's watch this burn. The former president's own statements in an old lawsuit could haunt him in a future criminal case, also haunting the former president, Tiffany and Eric. Come to my recital, dad. Robin Hood is getting rid of one of its most controversial features and will add one that asks, Would you bang Maid Marion? Legendary UNC men's basketball coach Roy Williams retires after 33 seasons, said one man wimp. The European vaccine rollout is unacceptably slow, but that's only because they stretch it out into courses, into an event you gotta save. Sarah Palin reveals her COVID diagnosis and encourages mask wearing. Unfortunately, in typical Sarah Palin fashion, she encouraged it around the chin. New York City restaurants balance safety and financial pressure to reopen, while Chipotle is just reopening their all-you-can-eat, hands-only, no-force squat fat. Apple's Tim Cook joins the chorus of critics against Georgia's voting restrictions, and I'll join in once he releases the newer criticism in a couple of months. The CDC says fully vaccinated people can travel safely again, and after a year without travel, I really miss kids kicking the back of my seat. Matt Gates says he's talked with Newsmax, OAN, and Fox about gigs, and all of them said pretty much the same thing. Well, your resume looks great. Oh, you're breaking up. We'll call you back in 15 to 20 years. The Dutch temporarily halt AstraZeneca shots for people under 60, so good news, every Dutch native can get AstraZeneca. They're, they're a country of old people, is what I'm saying. Roger Jean Page will not appear in Bridgerton Season 2. He'll be in it, but due to the sexual content, he will be blurred. The BBC wrote, how to keep an anxious seal safe. I don't know, delete Heidi Klum's number? The BBC wrote, I discovered my father was a spy. That story again, I discovered my father was not a good spy. A baby boy was born with three penises. Now for my second wish, said the father. The former president takes a shot at Hunter Biden saying kids must stay away from drugs and booze, adding you should only do it when you're about to speak at the RNC. A flat earther was busted in a Freemason arson spree, said the flat earther. How'd you find me? My eyes were covered. For the desk, I'm Dan Laitman. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands. I will see you next week with my own co-host. <laughs>